Hello, sir. How are you today? Um, not so good, actually. Um, I've had a long day. Um, yeah. My wife's been really annoying. She's making lists and telling me to do loads of stuff. And okay. then, uh, whenever I do it, isn't it? It's fine, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. I was just, just being polite. Um, oh, that's me. What can I get you today? I'm going to get a Lussie on the Rocks, please. Lussie on the Rocks. It's a coffee shop, so we don't do Lussie on the Rocks. We do coffee. Yes. Can I get a Lussie on the Rocks, please? Um, it's a coffee shop, so we do coffee. Plus it's, uh, plus it's 2 p.m., so I'm not sure if it's uh, the best what time you, to be drinking. What uh, is your name? My name? Yeah. What's your name? On your name tag, what's your it's, name? Uh, Daoud Malik Khalib. So. Dood Milk Khalib. Your name means milk in three languages and you can't get so rid of it. it's getting a little bit out of hand. We, uh, we don't do lussie here. If you uh, would like another beverage, such as a coffee or a soft drink. Okay, okay, okay. What can I get you, sir? Can I get some curry with some naan? Sir, if you really, really want a lussie on the rocks and the curry so bad, I suggest you go over to that lovely Indian restaurant just across the road. Has that been there the whole time? Yes, sir. I literally. I suggest you uh, go over to um, to the Indian restaurant. Okay. No chance for a lassie here. Sorry, sir. Thank you so much. Bye bye now. Hello, sir. How can I help? Can I get a coffee, please? Hello our hangouts, the astute viewers among you may realise that we have coffee cups sitting in front of us. So this episode is probably about coffee. Yes, you're right. We're going to be talking about coffee and we're going to give you, be giving you a great taste test from all the high street brands. But before we do that, Shaz is going to kick some knowledge on the origins of coffee. So let me kick some knowledge for you guys. Firstly, you're probably all thinking... Where did coffee come from? Well, I know, right? The first evidences of coffee are in the 15th century. Mm -hmm. The Arabians in Yemen, particularly the Sufis, would drink coffee to keep them awake during their spiritual practices. In fact, at one point, it was even banned because they considered it a misuse of an addictive substance. Haram police. Haram police. It spread to Mecca and then from Mecca, uh, it spread around um, uh, North Africa. And the first time it landed in Europe was the 16th century, I believe, oh. in Malta. There was also a lot of trade between North Africa and the Venetians. Oh, so, nice. exactly. So now we see, these, we see tons of high street and independent coffee shops everywhere now we're going to be put, putting the four best selling coffees against each other so we have nero we have starbucks we have mcdonald's and we have costa coffee and we're going to be taste testing each and every one of them but first we're going to show you how we got these coffees here hello hangouts and we are outside costa coffee now let me tell you something about costa coffee it's my favorite coffee from today's chains Apart from it being my favourite coffee, Costa Coffee is a truly British brand. It's a British coffee chain. However, they did get recently bought out by the Coca-Cola company. So I don't know how I feel about that. A little bit disappointed because they have become more corporate as a result. But their coffee is still brilliant. Their roastery is actually based really close to home. It's in my county, which is Essex. It's in Basildon, Essex. They roast over 45,000 tonnes of coffee per year. I just think about that and I think, how much of that have I drunk? I'm, I'm going to say a lot of that coffee is me. It's going down my stomach. However, we're not here to talk about how much coffee I consume. We're here to talk about how good is Costa Coffee in comparison to the other brands. Before we go inside, I want to give you a fun fact. Did you know that they actually have, Costa Coffee actually have their own coffee connoisseur? This person, Gennario Palicia, I hope I got his name right, he is their 
very own product taster and he has his tongue insured for 10 million pounds. Is that the most expensive tongue in the world? Probably. Anyway, you're here for the taste test. So let's go and check out Costa Coffee. So, Halal Hangouts, so and we have come to McDonald's. Now, we're gonna do the, the good old fashioned thing that you would do if you're stopping off for a black Americano, and that's go through the drive through because you're in a rush. You need to get that coffee, you need to get on the road. What, what, what kind of, uh, how is it uh, roasted? What kind of beans do you use? Uh, it's from a machine. Oh. Maybe it shouldn't be in the race. We thought it was 100% Arabica uh, coffee beans. Is that correct? We've got the coffee beans. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it is the 100% thing. It is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Can I get a lussie on the rocks? Sorry? A lussie on the rocks. So it's really hard to hear you. Lussie, lussie on the rocks. You know lussie? Yeah, it's a 99p. There you go, 99p for a black Americano at McDonald's from the McCafe. 100% Arabica coffee beans, but freshly made every 30 minutes, apparently. Off the top of the dome, hello hangouts, we are outside Starbucks coffee. The original coffee culture kings of the United States of America. Coming out of Seattle, back in the day, they were part of the original coffee culture. They've spread all across the world like an infestation, infecting all the countries of the world. You won't go anywhere where you won't find a Starbucks. And a fun fact about Starbucks is their dark roast has been known to distort the nuances of the flavor of coffee. So coffee connoisseurs look down on their long coffee noses uh, upon Starbucks because it distorts the flavor. Now we will see, we will see if this is actually true by doing a taste test and checking it out. Let's go. Here we are outside Cafe Nero. Um, the next British brand on our list. Founded in 1999 by a guy named Jerry, Jerry Ford. Um, it started from five small chains in central London to what we see today as an international brand boasting one billion sales a year. That is phenomenal. Here's a fun fact for you. Excuse me, mate. So sorry about that, guys. We got moved on by security. So the fun fact was that Cafe Nero loved badgers. They boycotted Gloucestershire farmers that were culling badgers back in 2015. So they love, they're love big animal lovers at Cafe Nero. Kudos to that. Let's go see what their coffee is saying though. So we've got our first coffee, but before we tell you which one it is, we're gonna be talking about the criteria that we're gonna be judging today on. So we have aroma, how it smells, acidity, that acidic taste, the body of the coffee, the flavor, and the aftertaste. So nice. with these five criteria, we're gonna be judging these. Perfect, so, so should we go first? This is Starbucks right there. Cheers, mate. Uh, the aroma is very deep and roasted. It's got a very smoky. It's got a very smoky, smoky aroma for yeah. sure. Uh, it's got a watery body. Um, and I have to say the flavor, because it's dark roasted, it's, it's very bitter, Yeah. Um, which which I think people know Starbucks yeah. for. And the acidity of it is, is very sharp. You know, you can, it kind of hits your tongue, mm. very pungent. Um, and the aftertaste is again, bitter. I think yeah. like you're saying the smoky, woody. Yeah, it's got a very smoky, woody aftertaste. It's a very um, classical Starbucks taste. Like you you know it's a Starbucks yeah. coffee when you, you could blind taste this and you'd know. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well that was Starbucks. Let's move on to the next one. So now we're going to be trying Costa, Costa coffee. coffee. Costa coffee, Costa. my favorite coffee. All right, so let's. It give might it not a be at the end of this. Let's give it a whisk. Let's see. Uh, so 
Aroma wise, not as strong as Starbucks for sure. No, it's got a bit of like a, a lighter sort of smell to it and slightly sweeter and that, that ties in with the uh, the acidity. It's, it's not as sharp, it's softer, lighter. Um, what 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 flavours and, and what does the body feel like to you? It's um it's a richer body and I think the f in terms of flavour it's certainly sweeter. I think that's with the arabica beans in general. Uh, they're just more rich tasting. Mm. And uh, the aftertaste is is a bit nutty and and a lot sweeter than the the, the harsher Starbucks taste. I feel like Starbucks is more industrial. This mm. is more kind of barista flair. Yeah, enjoyed it. Right, so now we have good old. McDonald's. McDonald's coffee. When you're on a, I don't know, like a road trip or if you're uh, off to a job, you just get by the drive through 99p, get yourself uh, an Americano from, from McDonald's now. It's got a very, very strong, <laughs> I strong was gonna smell. Say, it can, this is like, you can smell knock it from you a mile out. away. You know, this is yeah. really, really strong. What do you think of the, um, the, uh, the bitterness of this? It's, it's very, very bitter, isn't it? Yeah, it's that more is, bitter than Starbucks. That is super. Yeah. Like, if someone said coffee to me, this is the taste. Like, uh, yeah. this is almost it. It's like super, super strong. Mm. It hits you. Like, I feel like almost mm. like I took a shot of caffeine. It's got a similar body to Starbucks, where it's got sort of a watery consistency. Mm. And um, the uh, definitely the flavour is burnt. Is, it is burnt for it is sure. Burnt for it's for sure. That got that dark roast burnt yeah. flavour of Starbucks. Probably more so, more strong than, than Starbucks coffee for sure. Uh, no wonder this is a slap in your face, yeah. wake you up, build this coffee. It's got a really strong aftertaste yeah. as well. Like I can imagine just drinking this and then just being, you know, have coffee breath <laughs> like for the rest of the day. Yeah. I prefer it to Starbucks because it, it all works together. It's, a, it's strong, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah, it's like Soviet Union. It does what it, it's, it's, you expect Soviet it to do. Union. It's like, you know, mm. it's, it's good, strong coffee. Strong coffee for sure. It's the vodka of coffees, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, we are on to our final coffee, which is... Cafe Nero. Nero. I can smell really aromatic, a really aromatic complex sort of waft that hits my senses. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more aromatic um, than the other three. In terms of bitterness, it's less bitter than Starbucks and McDonald's. And then more similar to Costa, I and would it, say. And it's not watery, it's got a very rich body, I find. It's definitely less watery. Yeah. Um, the flavor, you're getting more of a sweeter flavor which you kind of would expect, I think, from these uh, Central, Central American beans. I guess on that note, maybe we should give the viewers our worst and our best. Now, I'm going to go first because I have surprised myself today. I actually thought, being a Costa drinker, and the yeah. reason it is convenience, man. Costa is everywhere. Mm. And we're talking high street coffees. With high street, you want convenience. However, I'm going to say today my favourite coffee has to be Cafe Nero. Seriously? And I'll tell you why. It's beaten Costa when I've done a pure taste test, which I haven't really done before. Um, I feel it's the, the, that aromatic flavour that you're talking about, that, that um, uh, accentuation of spice, that African spice. Now, we must caveat, we are amateurs. Our review today was a very amateur review. And this is our preference um, at the end of the day. I'm going to have to say my worst one. Surprise, surprise, it's going to be Starbucks. It's just too strong. I'm not a massive fan of that woody, uh, smoky aftertaste. It's a bit stronger than, than my pre for my preference. So my favourite has got to be Nero. When I have coffee, I want to experience the coffee flavours. You know, I want a mild experience. And Cafe Nero definitely satisfies those requirements. Um, my worst is probably McDonald's. This is going to be my new pre-workout drink <laughs> because it's so strong, it kind of hits you and then it just lingers with you the whole day. It's certainly one of those sort of rough and ready uh, coffees. Cafe Nero has to be our favourite coffee on that, I think we deserved for the viewers 
to do a impartial review of independent coffee shops. So yeah. we've got to put that into the best coffee pipeline in soon, for best sure. Best coffee in London. And on that note, you need to hit that bell button. Yes. Hit that subscribe sir. button. Smash that like button. And, uh, you know, if is this was this a good review? Let let's, us know below. Let's, what is your favourite coffee? That's Let's do you know, a poll ones, underneath yeah. right now. We're polling right now. What's your favourite out of these four and why? And let's see which one wins. Yeah. Hello Hangout. Subscribe, like and share. We'll see you next episode. Peace.